Hello and welcome, I am Raziel, and so today let's talk about that guy. You know who that guy is, and we've all met them. If you haven't, well do I have some bad news for you. Anyway, so we all know who it is, and we've all met them, like I said, but what about on the online space? What about on the interwebs in general, the internet? What about there? There happens to be a very prominent version of that guy online. And unfortunately, they tend to be more prominent under a certain company. Most likely because more people play those games, okay? So the more people play them, the more likely these people are going to, you know, arrive, turn up and speak their mind. But there are certain things that give these guys away, which absolutely make me giggle. Now, when you play war games and you play multiple war games, you get the kind of feeling how communities go. You know, you know what you can talk about and what people enjoy talking about, and you know, you get that nice feeling within each company. And you know, war game. So, first thing is, this is one of the most common signs of the that online guy. We'll call him that online guy. Tot, tog. There you go. A tog. We'll go that togs and basically is when someone asks a rule question they will always without a doubt respond in one of two ways read the rules or read your codex well of course codex and that obviously only applies to games which actually have these supplements okay and they will respond like that read the rule book or read the codex straight away which is the absolutely douchiest way of responding to a rules question if someone puts up a question about rules you say okay this is how it's written this is how i understand it so this is like how me and my friends play so you can kind of talk them through about the rules and what part they're confused on so you can help a new guy out it is what you know the community should be doing. You get someone new into the community, you talk about the hobby and the rules, the models, you know, and you get them interested and intrigued. The second someone goes, read the rule book or read your codex, yeah, they're kind of a douche. I mean like they're like there is high level douchiness of douchiness. And there is a way to respond to this. It goes you just what when they say that goes, you don't know, do you? That's all you need to say underneath they go, Oh yes, I do, yes, I'll pop, 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 pop. You can just imagine like a huff huff puff behind the, their keyboard. You know, like they do. It's like, okay, what is it? And you literally call them out on that behaviour. And that's all you need to do. You just say, okay, what, what's the rule? What, explain it. And then they go, well, I don't have to explain it. And if they don't know the rule, which is more often enough, they will respond with, I don't have to explain the rule. You can either leave it there or go, well, you didn't have to comment either. So, basically, they try to be these snotty idiots who just want to ruin a new person's time who's you know they're getting into the community they're trying to learn what they can do you know, really get that feeling for everything but that's the other thing the other thing which i'll see them do is they not only have a pile of shame okay i've already spoken pile of shames and all that but they often brag how much they spend they brag about it I say I keep to a budget, and I do keep to a budget. I'm just trying to work out this month's budget right now, and you know I'm trying to just move some things around to see what I would really like compared to what I need. Which two different things. So I'm getting some. I'm obviously getting lots of Wild West Exodus stuff, but mostly Warrior Nation stuff. Just thinking whether or not to get the crown as well. So, oh, and Mantic stuff. Actually, I want to get some Mantic stuff. I've got enough just to fit in the Raiding Void box. Anyway, anyway. I'm getting off track and they will brag about how much they spend and they often will when someone complains about prices they will always say well it's a luxury well believe it or not I will argue this point it's not a luxury for many people people with mental health illnesses uh, wargaming is not a luxury it's a necessity for meditative techniques it's really good for people who are suffering from anxiety depression anything like that so I wouldn't say it's always a luxury mostly yes but for some people it's not but or they'll go oh you're just poor you know they, they will literally bring their financial situation into it 
you know, I've had comments below, like I've had comments on that when I've complained about prices, you're just too poor, and I usually respond with laughter. I do. So, <laughs> that's that bit, and like, again, you they're just being dicks about it, they're just being absolute dicks about how they're bragging about what they're doing. And you're like, dude, seriously, we don't care how much. We want to know how much you love the game and how much you enjoy playing it. We don't want to ca really care about how much you spend on your hobby. And that's it. And also, this kind of sometimes makes the new guys feeling bad who are just getting into the hobby. And they're like, then I can't afford that much a month. You know, that sort of thing. And again, it puts people off getting into the hobby. And again, it's this absolutely douchey behaviour. We, so, like I said, we've spoken about, you know, they kind of, they will never be wrong about the law. Now, I make mistakes about law, I will openly admit to it, but when I've made a mistake, I'll own up to it, I will learn from it, and I'll move on. And whereas that, that online guy, the TOG, will not. You could literally give them page number and, you know, book, page numbers, photos of it, scans. You could even have the author literally say to them, no, that's not what I meant. And they would still disagree. They will never, they cannot understand how wrong they are. And I have seen this so much. And this is not just fanboyism this is the most delusional attitude of their intelligence they have this a delusion of intelligence to law and the same goes for rules as well like they will if they do actually answer a rules question incorrectly and you correct them say dude that's not what it says they will go absolutely out of their way to try and make themselves right you should see the mental gymnastics these guys go through to try and prove a point and it's like, do just say you're wrong. Just admit you're wrong, move on, learn. We can grow as a community. And <coughs> that is just an absolutely divvy move. I don't like that one. That's one of my least favourite. I mean, we all make mistakes, that's fine. It's learning from our mistakes, which is important. And what's the last thing? Because I've heard several points for this one. And that's, the, that's it. Right, right. They, <laughs> and I have seen this. I have seen this many times, and this one, always, this one doesn't annoy me so much as actually makes me giggle. They will present commissioned work as their own work. Like, they will p pay someone to paint their miniatures for them, but they will always display it as their own. And I've seen people called out for this, and this always amuses me. And even I've had the commissioned, the people who do the commissions say, Dude, you, I painted that for you. And they're like, no, 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 I painted it. Like, dude, I painted it for you. You paid me to do that. Please don't say it's your work. And again, I do probably know this, these togs. I'm totally going to call them togs from now on. <coughs> are very narcissistic. And if they don't know something, they will try and be somehow superior by telling them to do something. Like, go read your codex, go read the rulebook, rather than actually answering a straight up question. They will, you know, they will brag how much they spend and how rich they are. It's all about themselves. And all you have to do is literally knock that out of them. Just knock them down a peg, a peg or two. And just when they go, when they show off how much they spend, it's like, well, that's nice. You can afford that. No one cares. You just have to say it, that no one cares. And that knocks them off. It's like, they're bragging about their financial situation. You know, it knocks them. And you just go, you do, I don't care. It just knocks the wind out of their sails when you see them posting some commission art which you know they paid for and you know you know it's commission work you go dude that's commissioned work like just chill out man that's not yours but at least at least admit that you paid for it like and yeah same with the law like it doesn't matter if they get into this subject and you they just won't admit they're wrong on rules or law the best thing you can do is walk away go, dude, can I just make sure that I never play you in public because I think you're just going to be an asshole to play against. I think it will be no fun to play against. And that's it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Togs, or that online guy. And it was kind of cool, actually. It was kind of an interesting video. Uh, I hope...
hopefully I will get a second video out today. Fingers crossed, as you can tell, this one's out a little bit later in New York. This is usually a morning video, so fingers crossed I can get a theory video out today. Um, I've got a couple in the work, I just kind of need to just, you know, add this finishing touches. So hopefully I can get those out today. Of course, tomorrow is always the review day, and we are going for World Rest Exodus, and we are on, let's have a look, we've done Warrior Nations, The Union, Enlightened. Was it, did we do a hex last week? I think we did. Yeah, we did the hex last week and the order. So we got lawmen, outlaws, watchers. I think that's it. Yep, I think that's it. I might add the crown and the empire and the sultanate. No, the commonwealth, I should say. Because they actually have models for Lost World Exodus. Might add those in later. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Uh, link to Wayland Games down below if you wish to save money on your Warhammer or whatever war games. Up to 20% off many items in stock and always free delivery after 20 quid. There is Forbidden Planet for cool, geeky merchandise, so, you know, comics. TV, uh, movies, gaming stuff, all that really cool stuff. And you can hear me eating my dinners ready. And this is how late I am today. Uh, there is my merchandise cu uh, cups, t shirts, notebooks, stickers. There is my comic down below. There is Skyforge. Don't forget Skyforge. He's a good friend of mine. And finally, Patreon because business. Bye bye.